what are the things that anyone and everyone can do, should do to, to live longer, basically. Have you ever wondered why some people enjoy extreme levels of vitality? Plus, they live longer and even more peaceful lives while others live in constant discomfort and pain, where every step is just another minute of pain in both their body and mind. Research has shown that people who exercise are guaranteed to live a healthy, longer, and peaceful life than people who don't. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the two main exercises that have been scientifically proven to improve your general health and longevity, guaranteeing you live a healthy, longer life. I'm going to first explain what they are and then tell you how to apply them in your life. But what's a healthy life in the first place? When someone says they want to live a healthy life, usually what they mean is they want to perform normal daily activities without ever experiencing any pain for the rest of their lives. And that's what these two main exercises are designed to do. Exercise number one is aerobic training. Think of aerobic training like giving your car a regular tune-up and taking it for a spin on the highway. When you take your car out for a drive, especially on the highway, it gets a chance to stretch its legs, burn off some excess fuel, and improve its overall performance. Similarly, aerobic training involves activities like sprinting, cycling, or swimming that get your heart pumping and your breathing rate up. Just like driving on the highway revs up your car's engine, aerobic exercises rev up your cardiovascular system. Now, how does doing aerobic training actually improve your overall health and lifespan? Aerobic training helps your body become more efficient at using oxygen to produce energy, just like a tuned up car becomes more efficient at using fuel. This means you can perform a high-intensity type of activity like climbing stairs, running, or even dancing. And generally, you'll find yourself able to work longer and more efficiently on normal daily activities even at old age. And just like driving on the highway gives your car's engine a good workout, aerobic training strengthens your heart muscle. It helps it pump blood more efficiently throughout your body, delivering oxygen and nutrients to your muscles and organs. This prevents diseases like heart disease, stroke, and even some types of cancer ensuring you live a disease-free life. So think of aerobic training as the highway drive your body needs to stay in top-notch condition, just like your car needs a regular spin to keep running smoothly. Now, the second type of exercise is strength training. Let's think of strength training like building a house. First, you need a solid foundation. That's your base strength, which you can develop through exercises. Grip strength, um, leg extensions, and like wall sits, squats, things like that. Okay. So how long can you sit in a squatted position at 90 degrees without support? Would be a great demonstration of quad strength, a leg extension, um, you know, how long can you dead hang your body weight, stuff like that. Just like a house needs a strong base to support the weight above it, your body needs a strong foundation to handle the stresses of daily life. Then you start adding walls and structure. This is where you focus on specific muscle groups like your chest, back, arms, and legs. Each exercise you do is like adding a piece to your house. The more you do, the stronger and more defined those muscles become. But you can't forget about the roof. That's your overall stability and balance, which you improve through exercises like planks and lunges. A house needs a sturdy roof to protect it from the elements, and your body needs stability to prevent injuries and move efficiently. All this is good. But how does strength training actually improve the quality of your life at any stage? Strength training helps to build and maintain muscle mass and bone density, which is crucial for overall health and longevity. For example, as we age, our bones naturally become weaker and more prone to fractures. By regularly lifting weights, we can strengthen our bones, reducing the risk of osteoporosis and fractures later in life. Similarly, maintaining muscle mass helps to support our joints and improve mobility allowing us to stay active and independent as we age. If you compare low muscle mass people to high muscle mass people as they age, the low muscle mass people have about a 3x hazard ratio or 200% increase in all-cause mortality. Strength training is not only beneficial for our physical health, but also for our mental well-being. Regular exercise, including strength training, releases endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. Additionally, strength training has been linked to improved cognitive function and reduced risk of age-related cognitive decline, such as dementia and Alzheimer's disease. For example, someone who engages in strength training may experience improved focus, memory, and overall mental clarity, contributing to a higher quality of life as they age. These are the two main types of exercises that will guarantee you continue to do the things you love, whether it's playing with your grandkids or enjoying hobbies like gardening, or hiking. In 2019, there was a long-term study published in the British Medical Journal. The aim of the study was to investigate the relationship between engaging in muscle strengthening activities, such as resistance training or strength training, 
and the risk of premature death from all-cause mortality. They analyzed over 80,000 adults aged 40 years and older. What they found shifted the fitness industry. They discovered that people who engaged in muscle strengthening activities had a 19% lower risk of premature death compared to those who did not engage in such activities. The study also analyzed people who engaged in both aerobic and strength exercises and discovered that participants who met both the aerobic exercise guidelines, which is 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity per week, and the muscle strengthening guidelines, which is two or more days per week of muscle strengthening activities, experience the greatest reduction in mortality risk. What does this mean? This means when you do at least 150 minutes of any aerobic exercise per week, and at least two days of strength training exercises per week, you put yourself in the position to live a stronger, healthier, and longer life than 99% of people. And here are some of the aerobic exercises you can try. What can we talk about, think about in terms of cardiovascular, so run a mile at uh, seven minutes or less, eight minutes or uh, less? That's a good question. So there are VO2, there are really good VO2 max estimators online and you can plug in your activity du jour. So be, be at a bike, run or rowing machine and it can give you a sense of, of that. Dead hang for about a minute. Seems like a, a really good goal for a lot of people, at least. To... That's our that's our goal. I think we have a minute and a half is the goal for a 40 year old woman. Two minutes is the goal for a 40 year old man. So we adjust them up and down based on uh, age and gender. So we do as, as just a straight squat, air squat at 90 degrees. Um, and I believe two minutes is the standard for both men and women at 40. Great. Okay, for a male, you should be able to farmer carry your body weight for, uh, I think we have two minutes. Great. So that's half your body weight in each hand. Um, you should be able to walk with that for, for two minutes. Um, for women, I think we're doing 75% of body weight or something like that. Yeah. Great. Now listen, I will be giving away a free course on how to build your own workout routine that is specially designed to improve your strength and heart health, ensuring you're able to live a healthy, longer life. So subscribe not to miss out.